Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our prayer at the end of the day. I'm Cantor Kurt Schmidt from Zion Evangelical Lutheran Church in Deerfield Beach, Florida. I'm coming to you tonight live from our family living room. We're here to pray Compline, one of the historical prayer offices of the church. During this time, we will allow God to fill our spiritual vessels, give thanks to God for the day, and ask God to grant us a peaceful rest. Before we begin, just a couple of things. First, so that we can build a better community spirit, I invite you, if you want, to say a quick hey or hello or good evening in the comments section. I love to know who I'm praying with, and I'm sure some of you do too. Second, uh, if you'd like to follow a bulletin for this short service or have the sheet music in front of you, uh, both are available for download on our website, zion-lutheran.org. As we begin, let's calm our spirits and our hearts by breathing out all of the stress and the anxiety and the worry of today and breathing in the spirit and the love of God. I invite you to join with me in reading our call to worship. Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, to herald your love in the morning, and your truth at the close of the day. Our service continues with our theme hymn for this season of Compline, of prayer at the end of the day, Still My Soul Be Still. The words are, and the music, are on the service bulletin. Still, my soul be still, and do not fear Though winds of change may rage Tomorrow God is at your side No longer dread The fires of unexpected sorrow God, you are my God and I will trust in you and not be shaken. Lord of peace, renew a steadfast spirit within me to rest in you alone. My soul be still, do not be moved by lesser lights and fleeting shadows. Hold on to his ways with shield of faith against temptation's flaming arrows. God, you are my God, and I will trust in you and not be shaken. Lord of peace, renew a steadfast spirit within me to rest in you alone. My soul be still, do not forsake the truth you learned in the beginning. Wait upon the Lord, 
and hope will rise as stars appear when day is dimming. God, you are my God, and I will trust in you and not be shaken. Lord of peace, renew a steadfast spirit within me to rest in you alone. I'll rest in you alone. I hope that you were able to take in those lyrics that when we trust in God, no matter what comes our way, we will not be shaken and that God will renew us and give us a steadfast spirit only in him. Our reading this evening comes from Paul's letter to the Romans in the 12th chapter verses 9 through 18. This is what Paul says. Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints, extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep, live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of it all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. These words of Paul's describe some of what constitutes Christ-like behavior. It's quite a checklist. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Oh, that's a tough one for me. Do not repay evil for evil. Live in harmony with one another. Those sound like pipe dreams in this day and age. But I think the passage hinges on these words, so far as it depends on you. In other words, our behavior, what we say, what we think, what we do is a choice. And our choice is not self-serving. The decisions we have made, the decisions we are making, and the decisions that we will make affect not only us, our families and our friends, but our community and even the entire human family. In our waking hours this week, it is our privilege, our joy to choose love, to choose honor, service to one another, prayer, hope, and humility. Even across these virtual lines, we can still connect and cultivate positive energy through our thoughts, our words, and our actions. As the hymn we're going to sing tonight says, I will weep when you are weeping. When you laugh, I'll laugh with you. I will share your joys and sorrows. 
till we've seen this journey through. May this be our prayer and song tonight. And I invite you to turn, if you have it, to the words and music for the hymn, Will You Let Me Be Your Servant? If you have an Evangelical Lutheran worship Cranberry Hymnal at home, it's hymn number 659. popular demand, our canticle for Compline. Canticle is just a biblical word for song. The other canticles that we have are the Magnificat, Mary's song, Zechariah's song, the song of the angels, and of course the song of Simeon when he sees the baby Jesus and he's able finally to rest in peace. So before we pray, I would invite you to close your eyes. I'm going to chant the Canticle for Compline and uh, invite you to close your eyes and just allow these words to wash over you. Use this as a time to focus yourself for our prayer and bring peace to your mind, your body, and your spirit. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Guide us, waking, O Lord, 
and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Eternal God, the hours of both day and night are yours, and to you the darkness is no threat. Be present, we pray, with those who labor in these hours of night, especially those who watch and work on behalf of others. Grant them diligence in their watching, faithfulness in their service, courage in danger and competence in emergencies. Help them to meet the needs of others with confidence and compassion. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Gracious God, we give you thanks for this day, especially for the good we were permitted to give and to receive. The day is now past and we commit it to you. We entrust to you the night, and we rest securely, for you are our help, and you neither slumber nor sleep. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom, and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I invite you to read the blessing along with me. Let us bless the Lord, almighty and merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Bless, preserve, and keep us this night and forevermore. Amen. I want to thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you to those who are joining us again, to those who are joining us for the first time. Happy to share this opportunity with you. Invite you to join us again next Wednesday, but also on Monday mornings at 9.59 a.m. Our prayer time as Pastor David Potter will lead in a time of prayer and reflection. That's Monday at 9.59 a.m. As always, we invite you to join us on Sundays at 11, right here on Facebook Live for our Sunday service, and also for Faith-Filled Fridays, if you'd like to greet the Zion community and send us either a written greeting or a short video, we'd love to share that across our social media platforms on Fridays uh, to let you know and to let each other know that we're all still connected. So if you need anything, if anything comes up, please don't hesitate to be in touch. We are still the church together for the sake of the world. I wish you a peaceful night, a blessed rest, and a blessed rest of your week. Have a wonderful night, everybody, and thank you again.